Okay, we're going to end this house today. Uh, we've done some, a couple bathrooms in here and working on the kitchen now. Um, I'm to the point where we're going to do the floor in the kitchen and we'll put down some LVTs and I'll show you what it looks like right now. So, got a linoleum floor in here now. I put the cabinets in the other day. They ain't looking good. So here's what we're dealing with. The first thing that I need to do is pull the baseboards off, and I'll show you why once I pull one off. So if you look, it's kind of got like a quarter round type of deal, like a piece of scribe mold built into it. I wouldn't be able to put a quarter on over that to hide the gap in the floor, so I'm going to pull these off. They look like, it looks like it's nailed on, but it ain't it's made on there. Okay, I got the trim all popped off. I got the casing and the door jams undercut so that the floor will fit underneath of them. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Taking these casings off, you can just slip the floor up under them. That way you don't end up with a gap. So the next thing to do is to put down this underlayment. Okay, let's jam on this floor now. Okay, as you can see, the floor is all down. Uh, I need to put toe kicks on the cabinets and then we'll run the base. So the toe kicks go on underneath. You can see they cover gaps between the floor, between the wall, between the cabinets. Make it look all like one piece. Just like that. Now we're gonna run the base.
there it is. Four's down, trim's on.